Hey guys, Benji here, welcoming you to another Pro Cycling Manager 2019 video, and today we're back for YouTube Pro Cycling number 12, hashtag YTC12, yeah, you, you guessed it, you're smart. Um, today's video, we're going to do the Tour de Romandie, I was expecting to do Eschborn Frankfurt, but apparently that race might have mysteriously disappeared from the calendar, uh, I don't know why, maybe I just put in my head that we were going to do it, uh, but in fact, no. I don't know uh, what happened either, um, I mean I was gonna say I don't know what happened in Benji's episode, but no, <laughs> I do, <laughs> it's a 32nd place on paris -Rouet. I don't care if you excuse, I, I don't care about your excuses Benji, alright you, 30 sec, alright it's fine, uh, it's fine, I've, I've, right calm down, <sighs> I don't know what happened in the Ardennes, <laughs> at least that's for sure, I'm hoping for some good performances, because uh, I'm seeing a a 14k prize money on Liège Bastogne, yes, so I'm guessing you finished at least higher than 31st with Conrad, Joe. Uh, but yeah, in enough of that. Tour de Romandie time, uh, the team we are bringing. Now, the Giro is coming up, so I've tried to take a few riders that will be doing the uh, the Giro, not the entire lineup, obviously. Uh, but we are going with Harold Tejada, Patrick Conrad, Diego Andres Camargo, Brandon Smith Rivera, because I mean, he's got 83 fitness. You need to pick up your shit, because your fitness peak is due in a week. Chris Nielens, Andreas Stockbro, and David Decker. I don't know if it's the original parkour. Uh, it is. It is. Okay. Well, we've got Conrad with the fitness peak. Uh, he got triggered when... Oh, he just began. Right, great. Well, we're going to have some fun. Our Tour de Romandy is about to start. We're going to go 99. Um, all right, now, let's let's be smart. Conrad, 20 seconds. Stogbro, oh my god, you're shit. Nielens, f f I don't know, 14, sure. David Decker, oh my god, you're bad. Harold Tejada, you'll have 20 seconds as well. I don't, even if you get dropped, I don't really care about you. Tejada, uh, you'll have 12. And Camargo, you'll have 8. This is not gonna be fun. I probably should have put a Luis Leon Sanchez just to cover the basis of this team time trial. Um, but it, it's fine. First intermediate will be in about 3 kilometers for us, uh, the uh, intermediate time of Le Sentier, then we'll have the intermediate time of L'Abbaye, and then Ju uh, Jura Park, which is not a uh, Korean pro cyclist, but well and truly the finish line. Uh, and I might just reduce the rhythm of Conrad, just to make sure that he finishes, even if I lose a few seconds with him. I've already said the exact same thing on Tirano, and I fucked up not doing that today. At the first intermediate, we're second in the exact same time as FDG. Second intermediate time, we are now well and truly last, 25 seconds behind um, FDG. We need to pick up our shit, otherwise we're not going to do anything decent. Uh, stock bro, you can stop relaying, because um, you're useless. Chris Nielans, sure. David Decker, fuck off. Rivera, sure. Tejada, sure. Camargo, fuck off. Alright, we're just going to use our best riders until the end. And in Jura Park, as FDG is currently leading, it's going to be um, Brandon Smith Rivera crossing the line for YouTube Cycling. Everyone will finish in a one-man group. And across the line, we're 32 seconds down, uh, which means we'll most likely be a minute down on whoever wins this time trial. I said one minute down. I think we're 59 seconds. Yep, 59 seconds. Struck ball 106. Wow, well done. Uh, but Conrad crossed the line in first for us, 59 seconds behind William Clark, apparently, who will be taking the first... Uh, leader's jersey of this Tour de Romandie, Bauke Mollema, uh, which is, is Trek Segafredo's leader, finishing three seconds behind his team. That's good. Uh, Richie Porte lo lost seven seconds. Nice play from Trek Segafredo. That's decent. All right. Apple. All right. Apple, Saint-Timier, stage two. Uh, let's forget about this time trial by uh, getting going. Heinrich Hausler just triggered his fitness peak. That's good. That's good, because it's exactly when we needed him to do that. Good one, Ionich. Very good one. Right, this time trial never happened. Uh, we are starting this Tour de Romandie fresh as we come. I don't think that's an expression, but we'll we'll allow it. Uh, we're going to send Andreas Stockbro immediately in the breakaway, because he's got a plus three. Conrad has a plus three as well. He'll, he'll be protected by Diego Andres Camargo. Um, okay. I mean, for now, no one follows Stockbro. We all know that's not going to be a thing as soon as the peloton decides to just be a dick. 
Wait, are they genuine? Are they pacing me back? No, okay, they're not. Ryan Mullen has that difference. Carlos Barbero in the break? No. Oh no, he's pacing. Are they genuinely against having Andreas Stogbro in the breakaway? Wow. I didn't know. I, I didn't know it was that much of a threat. That's surprising. Well then. Alright, we're going to start the uh, Col des E3, which is the first game of this Tour de Romandie. Uh, we'll also take a look at the breakaway. We have Michael Scher, the Swissman from CCC, followed by Yellow Wallace, Nathanael Beran, Antoine Duchesne, myself with Stockbro, Guy Sagiv, and Alfredo Torres. Uh, so I need to be extremely worried. Worried, no, I need to be careful of what Nathanael Beran does. Because uh, if I want to take the mountain points today... I need to be the uh, champion of Eritrea, and it's not going to be an easy task. Right, the good thing is, Natel Beran is currently in last place of this group. And it's not exactly a climb, it's more of a sprint. We're going to follow Gisagiv, and we'll just overtake him when we wish to do so. With 1k to go, Andreas Sogbro is going to move over, overtake Gisagiv, and we're going to try to hold off the likes of Yellow Wallace, Torres, uh, Mikel Scher, or whatever, as we take the first eight points of this Tour de Romandie. Go on, Andreas. Some of you in the team may have said that you were too shit to be in this roster. It's time to prove them wrong. All right, we're currently in a much tougher climb. The uh, Haut de la Côte, as it's called. Three kilometer long, but an average gradient of nearly 9%, as Yellow Wallace is the first one to make a move. He is followed by Michael Scher, the former Swiss champion, Stockbro directly in the way- Wait, Terada and Deka got dropped. Oh my god, why is the peloton chasing us? Uh, but we're going to try and now make a move past Yellow Wallace, we're going to do so. Can we now make a move also ahead of uh, Michael Scher to get some added points here? The answer is going to be yes, Stockbro, a man on a mission today, as he now has 13 points in the best climber classification, ahead of the 8 of Antoine Duchesne. Okay, they've attacked way earlier than I expected, and Nathanael Beran is now completely in the lead uh, in the climb of Les Pontins. The peloton is only 30 seconds behind, I need to see where Conrad is, he's in a good position, he had to come back. Uh, Michael Scher and Antoine Duchesne have counter-attacked, we're going to come back on Nathanael Beran, I don't know if it's going to be enough for us to uh, overtake the uh, rider from Eritrea. Antoine Duchesne will crumble just before the line, that's for sure, and we are going to overtake. Nathanael Beran, a very, very good uh, day for now, uh, uh, as of now, for Andrea Stockbro. Nilens, I need you to, be, um, to, to make the cut. Is that the yellow jersey that I'm seeing? Yeah, to be fair, it's William Clark, so I'm still, I'm surprised that he's still here. Uh, Brandon Rivera, if you could potentially give water to the team before being dropped, that would be much appreciated. Nope, you're dropped. Final five kilometers. Uh, I decided to stick with Ineos. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have done that because there is a, a group up ahead up the road which is going to fight for the win and I should have been in there. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have been in there. Uh, I just decided to, to think that Chris Froome was a, a much more uh, easy shot. Actually, we, we managed to come back, which is quite nice. Uh, oh, I swear to God, if everyone comes back and I've just destroyed myself for the sprint, I'm going to be extremely pissed. Right. Well then, we're not going to win today's stage. Uh, at least it's the first group for me, but that is a very shit st Oh, shut up, is Adam Yates gonna win? And I'm- and I'm the one who- oh no, I brought Simon Yates back. Wait. So overall it's- it's 14th, but it's in the main group? No, I don't think there's any consolation for that. It's still shit. Alright, Adam Yates takes the win ahead of Fausto Masnada, Remco Evenepoel, Bauke Mollema and Roman Bardet. We finish in 14th place, last of the group. Uh, but we had to come back, because if I had stayed with the guys from Ineos, I would have finished either 53 seconds behind with Togo Gunnart, or 18 seconds behind with Chris Froome. Uh, oh, they also have Bernal in the first group. So why the fuck was he no space? I don't know. I'm not going to ask questions. Uh, GC-wise, we're still going to be a minute behind. Yep, but we're now 23rd in the GC as we uh, head to the second stage. The, sorry, the third stage between Moutier and Porrentruy. 170 kilometers, a stage that has a little false flat finish. Maybe, maybe suitable to the likes of either Chris Nilans, but mainly Patrick Conrad.
It's a rainy day in Switzerland as the peloton heads for Porrentruy in 170 kilometers and without even a question there is already an attack from Andras Sogbro trying to uh, consolidate his lead in the mountain classification. Patrick Conrad is also there. Uh, yeah, he'll be a uh, sprinter. I mean, if David Decker could could try to stay at the front, maybe David Decker could be my guy. But there is 10 seconds at the end in Porrentruy. I need to get seconds back on the leaders. If I want to make anything GC wise, um, so yeah, well, we're gonna have to to make a choice. I don't think David Decker will be able to hold on. If he does, sure, we'll, we'll try to sprint with him. I don't think that's my priority right now. My priority is the GC with Conrad. Okay, we have the first incident of this Tour de Romandie. Simon Yates and Tom Dumoulin have crashed. Uh, I mean, they're way too far from the line to cause any kind of trouble. Sadly enough, no one is withdrawing unless... No, 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 that's uh, Carbell and he's not withdrawing, he's just slow. It's a shame, I would have liked to have a withdrawal. The last time I did was Thibaut Pinot, he was wearing the leader's jersey. But to be fair, it's way too early in the race to have a withdrawal. I I'd much rather have it a bit later, if possible. Um, and by later, I do mean like in, I don't know, the penultimate stage in the final five kilometers. And that allows me to take the leader's jersey. I don't know, that'd be cute. Um, but yeah, we've got six kilometers until the su until the summit of uh, the first come of the day, which is La Côte de Bure. We're going to take a look at the breakaway. Uh, we've got two riders from CCC. Michael Scher, who was already there in the previous breakaway. Pavel Kochetkov, Reto Hollenstein, Antoine Duchesne. Our, um, uh, how do you say? Ah, I've forgotten a word in English. Uh, well, the guy who's second, isn't it? <laughs> in the men's classification, we've got Lucas Pistelberger, crushing the peloton of Camilo Ardila, Yellow Wallace and J. Robert Thompson. Brian Van Meur is there. Carlos Barbero, uh, Vatra for Israel. Vigard Steklangen, oh shit, I need to be at the front because there's two kilometers left. I expected the climb to be much, much tougher, but we're going to follow Fernando Barcelo in the wheel himself of Antoine Duchesne. Uh, I still can't think of the word I was looking for. I know it in French, which is Dauphin, and no, the translation is not Dolphin. Uh, it's not runner-up because that would be finished. Uh, our, um, I don't know, well, the guy who's in second, as I said. But Stockbro is going to counter-attack. I should, actually, I should probably still follow Barcelo. And we're going to jump the rider from Cofidis like we jumped Nathaniel Berani uh, yesterday. It didn't work. Barcelo just didn't cave in. All right. Good on him. Good on him. We still have 24 points ahead of the 12 of Patrick Conrad. But I swear Duchenne was second. And Conrad is third. How do... How... No. No. PCM, you can't do that. We're approaching the summit of the Col de la Croix. Uh, which is a climb we need to be uh, to take in a very high position if we want to take many points for the KOM. Uh, we're going to avoid Reto Hollenstein blocking us. Who's the first one? All right. Pustelberger made a move. We should be able to counter attack it. Uh, I'm just hoping that there's not much corners left. There is. There isn't, sorry. Stockbro on the left hand side of the road. We're going to try and take up the inside of three riders, and what a move! We got blocked. We got blocked. We got two points, which means we got fourth place. Yep. Uh, however, however, if we could maintain this four-man breakaway until the next KOM, that'd be great. But I don't feel like these guys have the same mindset as I have. So, yeah, it's pace 20. We're going to rest for a kilometer. Uh, and then it's, uh, once again, back on the saddle for the Col des Rangiers, which starts now. We didn't take many points today. We, we got second at the Côte de Bure, fourth at the Col de la Croix. We cannot afford to take an L on the Col des Rangiers. Remember what I said about not taking an L? We're going to take an L. Uh, yeah, because uh, Stoke Brewer has as much yellow as Hausler's got wins on Paris Roubaix. Zero. If you didn't make the, um, the, the link. It's going to be Barbero ahead of Hollenstein and Pustelberger. Uh, oh, fuck off. Is Mikel Scher going to take more points than I am? I'm not even going to take points, am I? Nope, I'm not. Great. Well, it's time to rest in the peloton and uh, await the final sprint. Nine kilometers left. There is only one rider left in the breakaway, and it's uh, Carlos Barbero. Pretty sure we did... I'm pre I thought we managed to come back on him. To come back on him. Maybe he attacked, maybe he attacked again. Uh, we've got 80 riders left in this peloton. No signs of David Decker. Is that an attack from Peo Bilbao? Is he just chasing him? Nope, it is an attack from Peo Bilbao. It is an attack from a lot of riders, actually. Bauke Moloma, Egan Bernal. Uh, I mean, apparently they're attacking. I, I can't exactly see it. But I, I trust the game. 
Right, Stock Bro will be um, the one starting our sprint. I don't know if there's any con uh, like people sprinting here. Mark Sauer is quick. Davide Ballerini is quite quick. But none of them are exactly um, Patrick Conrad quick. That doesn't sound very threatening, does it? Uh, but Stock Bro will make the first lead out towards the line. Then Chris Nilans is going to start the sprint. Simon Yates is in our wheel. Uh, we've got the likes of Pyro Bilbao. I think we could easily get the win. We'll see. It's going to be against Isaac Irene, Egan Bernal. Oh, sh Egan, mate. I beg you, stop. Ah, he stopped. Win for Patrick Conrad. Today in pour entry ahead of Egan Bernal. And whoever came third, Yon Isaac Irene. Good. Good, 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 good. Chris Nealon's 11th. Love that. Uh, it's a shame there's going to be basically zero gaps. Uh, I mean, to be fair, why would there be any gaps? Because it's literally an 81-man peloton. All right, we're going to gain 10. Uh, we're going to gain, sorry, 10 seconds on the rest of the field, um, and we have a new leader in Egan Bernal. Big job for Patrick Conrad. Egan Bernal second, Jan Isagiri third, uh, Chris Nealon's 11th. As I said, no gaps. Is there anyone withdrawing? Nope, because I saw many crashes, uh, but no one said goodbye to the Tour de Romandie. GSC wise, Egan Bernal takes the lead. We're going to be 56 seconds behind. Ah, eh? 51. Oh yeah, because Bernal wasn't in the lead. Nice. Brains. Uh, okay, well then, we move up to 18th place. Next up is another hilly stage between La Neuveville and Fribourg, but I don't see how this could create any gaps. Let's try the way. Alright, well, I got stopped in my progression of this Tour de Romandie because we have to do the dossiers for next year. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do because usually I like I just put the riders I want, but I can't do that here. And I know there were some suggestions. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like they're written somewhere. I'll take a look. But I don't think the likes of Daniel Tickleheim or not are in this list. All right. So uh, I went with Rafa Maik and Patrick Conrad to renew. Van Garderen, Swift, Gibbons, Bosnagen and Stan de Wulf. And from your suggestions, uh, I've tried to take a few of them. I can't have all of them because we only have 30 points remaining. Uh, sorry, we only have 30 points to use and we have zero remaining. Uh, but I went with Wout Pouls, Thomas de Hint, Pierre Bilbao and Andrea Amador. I know there was the likes of Tick Lyminot who I mentioned, Andrea Bugioli, uh, but they are not here. Mats Pedersen isn't available either. Patrick Bevin is, but he needs seven points. And I don't have seven points right now. So when we have seven points, I'll think about Patrick Bevin. Uh, but yeah, for now, we'll move with that. And uh, it's finally time to go back on the Tour de Romandie. And we're on the way for stage numero 4 of this Tour de Romandie. Uh, once again, we've got Andras Stockbro in the breakaway. He's followed by Rete Hollenstein. Brian Van Meer will most likely try to join us. Or maybe he won't. Uh, I, I don't know. The, the man is uh, in... Uh, an indecisive position. I don't think that's a word. And if it is, I don't think it means what I think it means. But it's fine, we move. Um, have Tejada protecting... Oh, nice progress from, from Tejada. He might be able to fight for uh, for something on the Giro. Um, seeing this, obviously knowing that Benji's riding the Giro. So oh, <laughs> we all know that's not going to happen. <laughs> I have so little confidence in this man. Ah... Uh, Prove me wrong, Benji. You know what? No, don't prove me wrong. Prove us wrong. Because no one believes in you. That's way too harsh. Uh, but we've got Stockbro and Hollenstein in the break. The peloton is chasing us because NTT, uh, Lotto and Kofidis don't think that sending a, a guy in the breakaway is just smarter. Uh, but I guess they just don't have the, the, the facilities for that big man. Uh, attack from Vigard Teklangen, Carlos Barbero, Marz Zwerchmitz, Frédéric Frison, Alfredo Torres... And Kofidis. Why? Kofidis, why you do this? Why? Why you do this? They're done. That's what they are. We have started the first KOM of the day. Oh my. Well, Camargo and Tejada won't because they've just decided to crash. Uh, did they bring anyone important in their break? Nope. Just Konichev? None of you, hey, none of you retires. Right, good. Good, 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 good. Um, all right, Bullshit Rivera, protect Conrad. Great. Now, let's be uh, careful about what happens there. Well, we're, gonna, we're going to follow Carlos Barbero as soon as he makes a move. Uh, because we all know he's going to make a move. Come on. Just get out of the saddle and attack. 
You can't hear him, but I'm spamming my right click right now. Are you going to make a move? Thank you. Carlos Barbero makes a move in the uh, final kilometer of this climb, of this climb towards Lepaco. Mats Wertschmidt is going on the left-hand side of the road. We're going to go e further left, and it's going to be an easy dub. Gigantic dub, Bossman. Stockbrough gets seven, eight points. Eight points. What does that mean uh, in the uh, mountain classification hierarchy? Uh, I don't know, but I'm first. That's what I know. We're approaching the summit of the second KOM of the day. Uh, we are leading this break, so we might as well try to attack first. I'm not going to wait for them, uh, especially knowing that this is rather flat. We're going to go now 1.2k until the line. Uh, I'm hoping to have like the acceleration, and I just need to hold on with the yellow. That's all I need, all I need, all I need, and we're going to do so. Andreas Stogbro, you, sir, are a living legend, because points-wise, you are now... Wow, okay, 20, 23 points ahead of your further... Uh, sorry, of your first opponent in Carlos Barbero. Good! Good, because then there's a... There's a... Um, there's what? Three points... Five points there. There's some points tomorrow, and then there's a, a time trial. So we'll, we'll be fine on the final stage. We might be able to, to pull this off with Andreas. What a legend. And with 20 seconds left, this breakaway is not going to hold on for much longer. However, Andreas Stockbro is because we're going to take the points at the uh, KUM of Trevaux. And wait a second. No, Yannis Aguirre, why are you attacking? I was expecting maybe uh, like a win in the break with Stockbro, but you've kind of ruined my plans. It's not exactly like kind from you, Yon. Can I follow you? Yep. I'm going to follow you and I'm not going to give you a single relay and your job in the breakaway is finished. Stoubro with a masterclass once again as we now are going to ready ourselves up for the final sprint in Fribourg. Uh, Konrad behind Chris Nielens, Chris Nielens behind uh, Tejada and Tejada behind Camargo. There we go. Perfect. Also, oh, I could use Decca. Let's have Decca in the will of Konrad. We'll see what the man can do. Uh, but we have... Six kilometers left before Fribourg. I don't know if we're going to win this. Because uh, there is 130 men peloton and no one is really tired. And also this is a very long downhill portion which isn't fun. Camargo, you can stop. I don't really care about you anymore. Uh, Alright, Tejada, you're going to start your sprint right now for Chris Nielans. There we go. Uh, Chris Nielans in the wheel, Patrick Conrad, and then David De... Oh, wow! We've dropped. We have dropped people. The people have been dropped. Decker is going to sprint. We're going to do a 1-2. It's not even going to be a win on purpose. Patrick Conrad wins ahead of Chris Nielans. Harold Tejada is going to... No, shut up. No, 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 no. Again? It's another four. It's another win with four riders. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Yes, lads. Gets in. Konrad Decker, Nilan Stejada, Guerrero, Vlasov, Albazini, Owen, Ul, Izagire. Yeet. We out here. Is that... Can we have a 20 second lead? Because that'd be very, very good. Back to back dubs for YouTube Recycling. Back to back dubs for Patrick Konrad. No gaps, however. Uh, but a 1, 2, 3, 4. Right. Remember the one I did on... Pa oh, I mean, I don't think it was 1, 2, 3, 4 on Paris-Nice. I think it was 1, 2, 3, or maybe like 1, 2, 4 or something. I can't remember, but I expected it because I knew the stage was broken. This is my first ever time playing this one, I think. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's, it's quite nice. GC wise, we're going to move up 10 other seconds, uh, which means we're now 14 uh, in the GC, 41 seconds behind Egan Bernal. As we head for the Queen stage between Fribourg and champex lac 163 kilometers, a summit finish. Where we'll try and uh, prove our worth to, I don't know, enter the top five. That'd be cool, but it's going to be a, a tough ask. Queen stage time in this Tour de Romandie. And you know the drill. Stockbro goes in the breakaway. I need to make some quick maths. All right, there's 36. There's 48 points available today. So Stockbro is everything but safe. That's great. I mean, no, he kind of is because obviously I've got 47 points already. Um, but I don't know, like, if the likes of Bernal, uh, have any points or something. Uh, Yates got 8, Isagiri got 8, Conrad got 12. 
Right. No, I think I'm safe. Mathematically speaking, I'm not. But I would like to think that I am. Especially if the breakaway is already here. I don't expect it to be here. I'm expecting some other attacks or the peloton to base like completely uh, mad men. Because that's just what the AI does. Uh, but... Oh, unless Ryabushenko and Genomeda attack. Just stay in the breakaway, you two. That'd be great. I'd be down for that. Just stay there. If we can have a five-man breakaway, I'm signing right now. Right, we're starting the first KOM, the Col Demos, and it turns out it's 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 not a five-man breakaway. It's a 15-man breakaway. Nathaniel Biran, Rob Power, Gino Meda, Mor Padden, Peter Seri, Matthias Frank, Ryabushenko, Nielsen Paulus, Joey Roskopf, Rafael, no, Ruben Guerrero, Sejare Benedetti, Reno Hollenstein, Michael Scherel, and Patrick Schelling. Now... If I could take some points here, and by some points I, I'm hoping to get first, we're, we're, we're good. Thing is, there's some very good climbers, and I am not part of these very good climbers. So, yeah. The good thing is, there's, there's the, steep, the steepest part is now. So, I've, I've held on. I'm just hoping that we can make it through. Because I don't think the breakaway will win, so that removes 12 points from all of these guys already, which means for them there would be only 36 points. Uh, and that would put me a jeopardy against the likes of Netnel Biran which, and Reto Hollenstein, which mathematically speaking, Biran would be tying with me, and Hollenstein would be ahead. The good thing is, Hollenstein is worse than me. Netnel isn't. But we'll see. Alright, I'd like to think that we did well. I'd like to think that we did well because we have uh, started the uh, sprint for the KOM and um, we're not going to get first. Ah, shit, I've, I've panicked. I've done shit. 47, I didn't get any points. Fuck. Nathan Elberan got some, uh, but there is 36 points left to take. As I said, I don't expect this breakaway to win, which means that mathematically speaking, I'm not safe, but technically I am. And with two kilometers until the summit, Andreas Stockbro is dropped from the breakaway. There is nine riders left up, road, uh, up the road. Sorry, No sign of Beran or Reto Hollenstein. So I'm in a good, good position. Patrick Conrad. Oh, right, Nielens may stay there. Conrad is already on his own. Oh, wow. Terada, stop giving water. Just try to hold on. Uh, I would like to have a teammate at least with Patrick Conrad. That'd be nice. Right, we're going to start the final climb. I just want to point out something. Harold Terada is an absolute monster. Because the man was four minutes down. And he climbed the Côte de la Petite Forclaz at a rhythm. But from outer space. Like like a Chris Froome kind of rhythm. So big up him. Very, very, very good job from Terada. He's not going to be able to help along. Uh, but at least... He's there. He's showing faith, on, on, unlike Diego Camargo, who's seven minutes behind. Um, speaking of being behind, we have four riders up road. We have Rob Power, Mark Padden, Pascal... Nope, not anymore. And his name is not even Pascal, it's Patrick. Patrick Schelling and Matthias Frank. Matthias Frank is saying goodbye to the breakaway. So is Schelling, uh, but currently the breakaway is saying goodbye to their hopes of winning. All right, can I uh, go like 55 to try and recover some energy? Attack from Roman Bardet. We're not going to be able to be go 55 for long. Uh, is Bernal going to attack? Well, let's follow again Bernal, I guess, then. Let's not follow again Bernal, because he stopped. Bardet, up the road. Yoni Zagiri in his wheel. No, let's take position behind Bernal. I'm not the one who needs to pace there. Uh, wait. Wait, wait. Bernal has no teammates left. Where the fuck are, like, the Froome? Oh! Oh, Chris has dropped already. Oh, that's cute. I mean, I don't know if it's cute. It's just... No, it's actually... It's anything. It's sad. Let's follow Bernal this time. As Bauke Mollema made the first move. Bernal in the wheel. Conrad in the wheel of the uh, Colombian. Tom Dumoulin. Adam Yates. Henrik Mas. And we're going to come back on the Frenchman. And we're going to reduce our rhythm to 70. To try and uh, salvage as much energy as possibly... Uh, as we possibly can. Nine riders. 
as uh, Adam Yates got dropped, Fausto Masnada, the second place, got dropped as well. We got dropped because I was paying attention at Fausto Masnada and not what was up there. Attacks from Bauke Molema once again. Buchmann in the wheel. Sorry, Bernal in the wheel. Oh, Bernal! Bernal is already showing a few signs of, uh, of, um, of weaknesses here. Any of you want to relay me? Well, we'll see if they, if they want to do something. Bardet, Dumoulin, Bernal, Molema. They have a 40 second lead over Conrad, Uran and Yates. They're not relaying me. You lot are pricks. If I tag, do you follow? Oh, they don't. They don't follow. Maybe they just can't do anything. Uh, right, we're gonna tr we'll see if we could come back on these guys. I don't think we will. I'm expecting one of these guys though to completely collapse. So we'll try and overtake them in the final three kilometers. But currently it's Ian Bernal pacing this four-man group at a rhythm slightly higher than mine. Uh, so he's probably like going 75. Uh, Yates and Uran came back on me. Uh, Uran is going to overtake me. Okay, we're going to finish in seventh place today. That's, that's just for that. That's sure. Bardet just exploded. Bernal, Dumoulin, and Molama still running strong. I shouldn't have dropped. I shouldn't have dropped. Oh, Dumoulin. Oh, Dumoulin. Dumoulin's out, and Molama's out as well, and so is Bernal. But the win today is going to be for the Colombian, by the looks of it, unless Boca Molama can pull off a uh, magical recovery in the final 100 meters here. But Igan Bernal is going to claim the win in Champex Slack ahead of two Dutchmen, Boca Molama, Tom Dumoulin. It's not great for Bernal because Dumoulin isn't dropped. Uran, Yates Bardet, and myself, and I'm going to finish in seventh place, two minutes behind uh, these two guys. Uh, my hopes of a top five in the GC are going to be extremely, extremely uh, tough now because I need to come back a lot. They do time trial. Alright, we've lost 2 minutes 12. What's sure is that I'm not going to get overtaken in the time trial because the gaps behind me are big. Like, Buchmann loses 5 minutes 32. I think Chris, oh yeah, Chris Froome lost 10 minutes on Bernal. Mad. Alright, well, what does that mean GC-wise? Bernal is in the lead. 8 seconds ahead of Monoma. 26 ahead of Dumoulin. There is a, a, a sort of a safety cushion for, uh, for Gan Bernal, but it's not sure. Uran, 131. Yates, Barden, Conrad. I'm going to need uh, a lot. I need to gain 29 seconds at least on Bardet. Mountain-wise, we are well entering in the lead. Alright, at least we'll have that and we'll have the points jersey. That's at least two things, uh, but if we could gain one position in Lausanne, that'd be much, much appreciated. Alright, the time trial starts for Brandon Smith Rivera. 72 time trial for the Colombian today. Currently in the lead in Lausanne is Frédéric Frison, the Belgian from Lotto Suel. We had one rider already leaving uh, Lausanne and finishing in Lausanne, and David Decker is currently in fifth place. Uh, Give me a slight idea as to where uh, I should, like, uh, as to how I should handle the sample, sorry. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see what the Colombian can do. The thing, I don't have a lot of good riders in time trial, because uh, Rivera is literally my best rider in time trial here. Yeah. So, yeah, it's quite sad. Thing is, the gaps aren't massive. I mean, uh, sure, em Emil Slipins is like a minute 40 behind Frédéric Frison, but that's because he's shit. And Frédéric Frison isn't the best either. But, oh wow, Mads Wilschmidt. Where, where is Mads? Is he ahead of me? He is well and truly ahead of me. Good, uh, we're 16 seconds behind Wilschmidt. I was like, how the fuck am I that slow? But I'm only 5 seconds behind the current leader, which is not too bad. Four kilometers remaining for Brandon Smith Rivera. Uh, we are fourth, 27 seconds behind um, Mads Wurtschmitz, I'm guessing, at the second intermediate. We'll be behind Stanon, uh, sorry, we'll finish behind Vandenberg uh, on track, but much higher in the uh, classification. Wurtschmitz has taken first place in Lausanne. One kilometer left for Brandon Smith Rivera as the Colombian takes this left hander until the line. 99, and across the line, it's going to be second place, 17 seconds behind Mads Wurtschmidt. It's a good time from Brandon Smith Rivera, but the fact that I'm already 20 seconds behind a B-Tech guy, no offense to Mads Wurtschmidt, is extremely scary for Patrick Conrad. Alright, Christians has some... Oh, he's got a... 
Christine Lance is the time trial champion of of Latvia. Like I managed to finish ahead of Tom Strins. Wow. Love that. Nice one, Christ. Um, but yeah, he doesn't have done his current in the lead now in Lausanne. 44 seconds quicker than Brandon Smith Rivera. Stockbro just lost two minutes. Camargo lost 244. If you're really bad in time trial, you can lose big. And Bardet has a similar note to Tejada. I'm not saying Bardet is Tejada, obviously he's not, because Tejada is uh, available in the best young riders, which Bardet isn't. But Bardet could lose a lot, potentially 30 seconds. Who knows? And Chris Nielans approaches the final uh, kilometer in Lausanne. It's a good time from uh, Dilad Ladvian. Patrick Bevan is in the same second as Jos van Emden uh, across the finish line. But Chris Nielans is going to cross the line. It's not going to be in the top, like, 10, obviously. It's 14th, 57 seconds behind Jos van Emden. Very, very respectable time from Chris Nielans. But in 22 places, we'll start the man, the myth, the Conrad. And here he goes. Here he goes. With a plus three, Patrick Conrad starts his time trial 16 kilometers, where he has to give... All he has to try and overtake this man, Romain Bardet. 67 time trial for the Frenchman, 71 for Conrad, but today it's a 76. I don't know about the condition uh, of Romain. He looked to be in a decent shape. I think he's... If I were to overtake someone in the GC, I think he's the only one available. Yates is too far down. Uh, so is Uran and, I mean, Dumoulin, Molleman, Bernard, is just, they're just in another world. Alright, we'll just take a look at the first intermediate. Remco Evenepoel is currently in the lead. Masnada, where is he? 36 seconds down. Uh, okay, Conrad. I'm expecting top 10. 18, 18 seconds behind. Okay, that's definitely not top 10. That's everything but top 10. How about Romain Bardet? 27 seconds. I've gained 9 seconds in the first half. Uh, in the first third. Which means technically I've gained 27 seconds on him. Which isn't enough. So we need to get a move on. Final two kilometers for Patrick Conrad in this Tour de Romandie. We're gonna go 85 and uh, behind, uh, sorry, under the Flamme Rouge, and sprint towards the line. Fausto Masnada is gonna cross it just ahead of us. Conrad across the line. It's 8 30 seconds behind, which means that if Romain Bardet finishes 59 seconds behind or more than Remco Evenepoel, we will overtake him in the GC. And we will, 115. Easy dub. Oh, Rem ah, I didn't see Remco in the lead before saying it. Wow, okay. Adam Yates across the line. 118, it's not enough. Uran, fifth, 20 seconds behind. Great time from Rigobert Uran. Tom Dumoulin is going to bully Remco Evenepoel of the lead. 29 seconds was the lead of uh, Egan Bernal on Tom Dumoulin. Bauke Molema is the first one to present himself on the line in Lausanne. And he's going to be 26 seconds down. Which means that Tom Dumoulin is going to win this Tour de Romandie ahead of Bauke Mollema and then Egan Bernal. Big L from the for the Colombian. Uh, maybe uh, an insight as to what could happen in less than a month in, uh, in Italy. But yeah, Tom Dumoulin wins the final stage of this Tour de Mont du Romandie ahead of Remco Evenepoel, Jozan Uden, Patrick Bevin. We have nobody in the top 10, but I'm not exactly disappointed with that, nor am I surprised. GC-wise, Dumoulin, 9 seconds out of Mollema, 26 ahead of Rigoberto Uran, sorry, Bernal. Uh, Conrad finishes in 6th position, 310 behind Dumoulin. Uh, I needed 16 more seconds to be ahead of Adam Yates and enter the top 10, but it's fine. Both Yates brothers are in the top 10 as well. Congratulations to them. Uh, and to Mitchelton Scott. Uh, Andreas Stogro wins the mountain classification. He's been uh, uh, just on an absolute mission from day one. 47 points ahead of the 30 of Rob Power. It is a well-deserved win for Andreas Stogro. So is this points jersey for Patrick Conrad. 60 points for the Australian. Two wins. A sixth place in the GC. I did well with him. Uh, I would have liked to be slightly higher in the GC. I think I could have done better in the mountain stage had I been more um, careful of what I was doing, but I haven't, that's on me, it's still nonetheless two wins and a points jersey, Egan Bernal will um, be able to, to cry, at least with the best and wider jersey, it won't be the yellow one, it'll be the white, uh, and the best team will be the team Ineos as we uh, wrap up these podiums. Alright, well, du Moulin pour the masterclass, and that just needs to, uh, to send a message to the likes of, uh, of Bernal, 
or anyone that is willing to, to face him on the Giro. He might not be as good as the others in Mountain, but God is here when it is a time trial. Bernal lost, what, a minute nearly. Bernal, he cannot afford to lose a minute on 16 kilometers. Like, I'm sorry, but no. You're behind Bruno Armirail. You're behind me. You're behind Matt Virchmitt that I criticized. Like, I'm sorry. He, wait, is he behind? He's just ahead. He's 10 seconds quicker than Brandon Smith Rivera. Yeah, Bernal, mate. I know you're not in the fitness peak because there's no way you're doing this. Uh, but yeah, Dumoulin, Evenepoel, Van Emden, GC Wise, Dumoulin, Molema, Bernal, Conrad in sixth. As I said, I think I could have done slightly better in the mountain stage. Uh, I might have been too presumptuous with my fitness and I mean I'm playing on extreme so if I make one mistake I'm dead. It looks easy at times but if if you don't play well you you get uh, penalized for it. Two distinctive jerseys nonetheless uh, to go with this two wins I think. Uh, wait oh, okay much better. Uh, yeah two wins two distinctive jerseys in including a one two three four I didn't want to click on Patrick Conrad. I'll take that. I'll take that. But anyway, this is where we are going to wrap this episode. If you have enjoyed it, then please do leave a like down below. The next episode will be on Benji's channel. Uh, I can't exactly tell you when, because I don't know exactly when this is going to be uploaded. Uh, but actually, the next three episodes will be on Benji's channel, uh, as he'll go through the uh, 2020 Giro d'Italia. Then you'll find Joe on the Dauphiné. Myself uh, on the Tour de Suisse. I think all of us um, on the national championships. We'll, we'll see how this works out. But yeah, the next episode will be on Benji's channel. So make sure that you're subscribed to him. Make, uh, make sure that you're also sub subscribed to Joe or to me. And uh, yeah, I shall see you in the very near future. Either for YouTube Pro Cycling, if you're only watching this series. Or for Bahrain. Or for Purito. Or for Garmin. Or for anything else. I don't care. Uh, but yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Stay safe, stay home, wash your hands and all that, and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. All them other man need feeding. I don't want to go bomb Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster. buster.